The quarterly Mbappe transfer saga has begun again. His relationship with PSG is like that toxic couple that everybody knows. One day you don't know if they're together, the other day they are breaking apart. It's just another episode in the reality TV show we've been watching, Keeping Up With The Parisians. Regardless, I wanted to get this video out and just explore the different destinations that Mbappe could go to. Some will be realistic, some are just purely hypothetical. This is just for fun to see where he would thrive the most because the reality is, like his Sega before, he might just end up signing another extension and staying at PSG. This video is just for fun, so sit back, drop this video a like and a comment if you enjoy, and so let's look at the potential destinations for Kylian Mbappe. Let's start with the realistic options. Him staying with PSG. There's a good possibility that he just stays, signs another contract extension, getting a huge sum of money, and continues this PSG project. Now, why would he do that? If he's able to bring a Champions League to PSG, he will go down as one of the most iconic French players of all time. He's already in that list for what he did in World Cup 2018 and helping France win it. And then, again, what he did in the last World Cup, helping France get all the way to the final. Plus the fact that he's now PSG's top scorer of all time, he is already in that legendary status. But bringing a European trophy to PSG, a club that has had no European success, would give him a legendary status that I honestly don't think he would get at other clubs. The storyline of the local boy taking PSG to European greatness, I think that's definitely something that's on Mbappe's mind or else he wouldn't have signed the extension. Now here's why he shouldn't do it. It's clearly obvious, and I think he's a smart enough guy to see, that this PSG project is going nowhere. As soon as they gave him that fat contract with all that authority, he should have known that PSG is not a serious club, and they frankly haven't been a serious club for a very long time. Even so far, when I'm making this video, their recruitment has not been good. Messi's already got him, they haven't done anything to replace him. They bought Asensio from Real Madrid. I don't really think that's the guy that's going to give you that next level, that next step to going to European greatness. So from Mbappe's perspective, it should be obvious that he is not going to be able to achieve the things he wants to achieve in with this current PSG thing and I think he's a competitor. I don't think it's a surprise that news of him and his letter came out just a few days after Man City and Holland won the treble. I think he's a competitive guy. He wants to show that he's the best and being at PSG, unless you get European success, you're never going to be in the conversation. If Mbappe leaves, Real Madrid is probably the top destination. Probably because I've seen him photoshopped into so many different Real Madrid jerseys in the past two years. I feel like he fits the club's DNA. They tried to go for him last year. They clearly want him. And he's the exact superstar player you need to elevate that Real Madrid team. And that team needs elevating right now with Benzema leaving and them having a below average season for their standards. They want to be competing again because they know they're one of the best clubs in the world. And you get there by spending. They've already brought in Jude Bellingham. Mbappe would be the best thing to help an attack that definitely just got weaker with Benzema leaving. Now, while he's the perfect fit on paper, there are some tactical question marks. Mbappe is at his best on the wing, uh, either as an inverted left wing forward or just naturally on the left side. The spaces he occupies there, that's where he thrives. But Real Madrid already has a player there who is incredible, and that's Vinny. So there does become a question of fit. Who will move where? Mbappe's played on the right before, especially for France and their successful World Cup 2018 campaign. But if you guys remember last year at PSG, it came out that he was very public to Galtier and the system that he wants to play on the left. He doesn't want to be a number nine. He doesn't want to play anywhere. That's where he knows he plays his best football. And if you're spending that much amount of money on a big signing like Mbappe, you want to play him where he is at his best. I don't really think it's worth it to try and adapt him to something that he's not. Of course he can play the number 9 role, but is he going to play like a Benzema? Is he going to play like a striker that would fit the Madrid system? I'm not sure. He's good enough where adaptability is not going to be an issue, but is he going to want to play there? And is that how you get the best out of the rest of your team? My personal favorite thing would be if Mbappe comes to the Premier League. There's multiple clubs that I think he would be good at. Once again, some are realistic, some are very unrealistic. The whole thing is unrealistic. I don't think he's going to come to the Premier League, but let's look at some of the options. The first one would obviously be Arsenal. He would be the heir to Thierry Henry, another incredibly fast, skillful French left winger. I mean, we've seen this storyline before. He's obviously an upgrade over Gabriel Martinelli, despite how good Martinelli was that season. But again, there could be a lot of adaptability there. If Mbappe is willing to play as the number nine, you could play Martinelli, Mbappe, and Saka, and you have one of the best young attacks in world football, you'd be set forever. But obviously, again, Arsenal's a very unrealistic target. They, I don't think they have the money to pay his salary. And I think from his perspective, he probably doesn't want to join a developing project, which is what's the case at Arsenal right now. Man City is one of the few Premier League teams that could actually afford Mbappe's salaries. But they already have a ton of left wingers. I mean, they spend so much money on Jack Grealish and they're finally getting the best use out of him. Why would they go for Mbappe? 
But I do think Mbappe would fit their team really well because he can use his speed to get him behind, but he's also really good at retaining possession and getting the ball at his feet, which is exactly what Guardiola has been looking in his wingers in the past few years. That's why he likes playing Bernardo Silva on the right. Jack Grealish on the left. He's not so much about having wingers that are straight direct like uh, Leroy Sané or Rafael Liao. He wants wingers that come and get the ball to their feet and keep possession. Mbappe can do both, but obviously it's just another for fun one. They're not going to go for him, especially with how good their current team is. But there is a lot of people leaving City, so bringing in new players is something that is going to be on the top of their priority list. I just don't think Mbappe is one of them, but seeing Mbappe being coached by Pep Guardiola, I would have loved to see that. Also, City gives them the best chance at a Champions League, well, along with Real Madrid. I think that's why those two clubs would be at the top of the list, because it's clearly obvious that Mbappe has won almost everything there is to win in football, but he hasn't won the most prestigious club trophy, and I think that's what he's after. Mbappe to United is perfect on paper. They would have the money to afford a salary, especially if they have that financial takeover, from the bid from the Qataris. They would have enough money to easily bring him over and it would be the perfect first signing for them. A crown jewel to showcase that they mean business when they've taken over such a gargantuan club. He could go on the left wing. No issue that Rashford is there. Rashford can play centrally and Mbappe is clearly better than Rashford. It could also work vice versa. You play Mbappe up front. Although, I, again, I have to reiterate, I think Mbappe is on his best on the left. And I think any team that gets him, that's probably where you're going to get the most use out of him. I'm not talking he's just going to stay out wide as a left midfielder. He can be like a forward, but he wants to occupy those spaces. He wants to have the option of cutting in or taking his man to the outside and whipping it across. That's where he's at his best. It would also be really good for the new generation of rivalry. Clearly, the Mbappe versus Haaland rivalry is nowhere near the Ronaldo and Messi one. But what made the Ronaldo-Messi rivalry so good was that they were playing for clubs that already had a pre-existing rivalry. They were also competing in the same league for the same competitions and playing each other at a minimum of two games a season. With Mbappe at a club like Manchester United, it would be perfect because the Manchester Derby is already a fairly good rivalry. And now both clubs can showcase the next best thing at the forefront of their club. It would be excellent. And then again, you'd watch them play at a minimum two games in the Premier League. And then they would also be competing for the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, and the league as a whole. And then potentially they could even meet in the Champions League. No matter what happens, Mbappe is a smart guy. He knows the leverage he has. He knows how valuable he is. I'm sure he'll make the right decision. I'm just hoping by the time you guys see this video, he has not made a decision yet because, well, I'll either look silly or I'll look like a genius. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you next week.